Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Everyday May video. Today I'm coming at you, it's, it's a full face. We're gonna do some makeup. I, as you know, if you watched my last whatever video that was. Oh, my Danessa Myricks review. I mentioned that I purchased the MAC It's Designer Art Library palette and I was very inspired by this yellow color and there's been a lot of yellow looks popping and hopping at you on the on the gram and the YouTube world. Anna, Jamie, Jamie, Katie Jane Hughes. Um, I have had yellow makeup looks saved in my little saved folder for a while and I wanted to play with this yellow because it looks so vibrant and fun and actually, Hold please. I wanted to do a yellow look back when I first bought the Sunset Palette, the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. But when you look at these yellows side by side, look at how much more vibrant the MAC one is. I find the Natasha Denona one is much more muted. So I'm glad I got this. I wanna try it, see how it goes. Thought we'd play with some things, give you guys a couple updates on, on some products. But uh, yeah, let's just, let's just have a little chat and play with some yellow because now the sun, you guys, the sun is out! The sun is out and I basically just wanted to emulate spring through this, this yellow eyeshadow. So here we are. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to start off with the Farsali Rose Gold 24 Karat Skin Mist. Gina Shkada. Thank you for this one. It smells so freaking good and I feel like it actually makes a difference in the hydration look of my skin. However, for half the price, you could use the MAC Fix Plus and it does the same thing, in my opinion, any way. But it smells freaking great and the, and the packaging is beautiful, so I'll continue to. Sorry, I have like a <coughs> There's something in my throat. All right, I'm gonna use my little usual base mixture, the current favorite, except I'm actually going to pinpoint place this right now. I'm gonna take these Matchbox Primerizer and just put that right around my mouth because I'm so and so dry right here, right now. And then I'm gonna take the Spectrum Bronze. Take a little dibble of this. That wasn't a little, that was a lot. And I'm going to like actually pinpoint place this around the edges of my face because it's so dewy looking. I just want to give myself a glow. And uh, I did put the Bali Body Tan on again this morning, so it should be deepening as the day goes on. So if you're like, damn, that just that just made you so much darker. Well, it did, and hopefully it'll, it'll match my skin later today. <laughs> okay, I wanted to follow up my last makeup tutorial with the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating Stick. I have this in the shade Vanilla 02. Uh, a lot of you asked how it wore throughout the day, and I did my little check-in, but then we had to uh, go to ride, so I had it on my face for about, I think four and a half hours is what I said. It's really beautiful. It's a really, really beautiful foundation. Today, I will use powder because I did find that it got pretty flippin' dewy throughout the day, so if you wanted it to last longer, definitely apply the powder. However, I will say that when we were going through and editing the video after and I was like, oh, this is so pink. It looked so like totally fine and normal on the camera, but in person it's definitely pulling more pink, but I am pleased to let you know that it did not oxidize or get gray or weird on my skin. So we're using it again, really love it. I think the finish is just beautiful. It's nice and light. Like I'd say light to medium. It's got a little bit of a buildable coverage. I like it with the brush. And I'm using it again today. So I think it's gorgeous. Very, very dewy indeed. I'm going to take that L'Oreal Super Blendable True Match Concealer. I love this one for under the eyes, like as a kind of, as a drugstore dupe. I'm putting quotations in the air because honestly the prices at the drugstore are getting crazy. I feel like everything is like $15 and up and I can hardly say that it's like worthy of the drugstore claim anymore in terms of pricing when you have brands like Wet n Wild and Essence and whatnot making beautiful products and they're actually staying in that affordable mark whereas L'Oreal, like the mascara for example, it's $12.99 US, it's like $17 Canadian at Shoppers. That's insane, that's insane for a drugstore price. I think anyway, let me know your guys' thoughts on the drugstore prices. I'm going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and just use this to spot conceal. I don't know, let me know what you guys think about the whole drugstore thing. I just find that if I can spend like a couple dollars more and actually have a product made with like exceptional ingredients and whatnot, I'd rather do that when there's brands like 
Wet n Wild and whatnot, keeping their prices super affordable and they actually have like really great products. Um, but when products from the drugstore don't really differentiate that much for their very much more affordable counterparts, I'm like, I'd rather just get the super affordable version. I'm just blending that in with the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. I keep like wavering <laughs> away from the middle and I know that drives Dan crazy. Blending that in and I'm also making sure to take a little bit of the concealer on the eyelid because we are going to be playing with eyeshadow today. Yes, yes, love this base so much. Okay, I am going to apply some powder. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder, one of my faves. <laughs> And I'm just going to place that on with the sponge. I'm going to try setting the under eyes. Oh my gosh, you guys, this morning, I didn't even realize, I feel like everyone and their mother has a YouTube channel these days, but I didn't realize that Jen Atkin had a YouTube channel and I was completely binging all of her videos this morning. And I just, I just love her life. I love her openness and how honest and cool she's being. Anyway, I was watching her like day in the life vlog and her CBD. <laughs> weed collection video and I am just obsessed. I love that woman. I never really followed her before. Like I know who she is and I know of Way and all that, like her hair brand and whatnot, but her YouTube channel is so good. I love it. I love just stalking people's daily life. I love, I love it. Anyway, let me know. Have you guys seen it? What are your thoughts? <laughs> all right, now that that's all said in, I'm going to take my Alana's Hula. This is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Going forward, I'm gonna stop using the e.l.f. large stipple brush I know, I know, that's crazy. But it's not available on their site and I am going to boycott it until they bring it back. <laughs> because I get so sad when you guys message me saying like, oh, I found this stipple brush and it's their small stipple brush. Because as far as I am aware and what I've tried to find on their website, it's only the small stipple brush that they have. The large stipple brush is nowhere to be found. Dear Elf, I am, I am temporarily banning you from my face. <laughs> Well, I'm not getting my, you know. I'm gonna use Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush. I'm just going to use that to apply the bronzer. I'm also gonna dip in and just place some of the bronzer on here on my eyelid. What? Just to set in the concealer I put on the lid and just add a little bit of depth to my eyelid without using any additional shadow because I'm pretty sure I'm just going to use the yellow eyeshadow. So I'm just going to use this to kind of set in the under eye areas and whatnot. Put some on the lid before we press forth. I'm going to dip into the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm palette. I really like this highlighter. I wouldn't buy this palette just for this highlighter, but wow, I have it. I really, really enjoy this highlighting shade. It's really beautiful and I find it a little bit more creamy in texture than the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. The Filmstar Bronze and Glow is like quite in your face, um, but this one seems to be like a little bit more of a subdued version of the Filmstar Bronze and Glow, which you guys know I love. And also while we're here, I'm going to take that and highlight my inner corner with it. And the brow bone. For blush, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Ginger blush. I wanted a neutral blush for this. I didn't want to go too crazy on the pink, too crazy on the peach or anything, because I feel like the yellow, I just want the yellow to have its day and want that to be the focus on the face. And this is one of my favorite blushes when I'm just wanting a super neutral look. I'm gonna fill in my brows using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I have this in the shade two. Guys, I'm filling in my brows. You know it's a real eyeshadow day when I'm filling in my brows. <laughs> I'm gonna set the brows in using the Hourglass Volumizing Fiber Gel. Give me some bushy brows, Hourglass. Bush it up. So for the yellow look, before I dip into the shadow, I wanted to try revisiting this Danessa Myricks Waterproof Cushion Color. This is the Cloud Control White one. And a lot of you were saying in the comp. And on my little review video of this, a lot of you were writing in the comments of that video saying you think it was a little bit more watery because of the glaze, the little dewy glaze that I put on it. But I just wanted to show you guys it in action. I do find that it's just a little bit, like it's watery. It, it looks like the color is diluted with water. And that was the same thing I was getting with the black. So I hear you. I know I was putting it on top of a, a glaze, but I was also wiping it on my hand too. And it just has this like, 
It just looks like when you're using paint and you mix in a little bit too much water, that's the feeling I get. It's not entirely opaque when you blend it out. So I actually thought that that would kind of be perfect to use as a little base before we apply this eyeshadow. I wanted to take some of the white and just blend it out on my eyelid in an attempt to make the yellow pop a lot. We'll see. I might regret this. I've never done this before, but we're going to try it. I'm going to apply this all over the lid right up into the crease. And even if it gets a little bit messy as we blend it out, that's okay. I just want it to act as a base for the yellow, make the yellow pop a little bit more. Cool. That blended out nicely. Thank goodness. <laughs> and I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, so I'll just give that a couple of hot seconds to dry. Honestly, great airflow with this. So now we're gonna take the MAC It's Designer palette and dip into chrome yellow. And FYI, you do not have to have this palette to use this color. Chrome yellow is one of the usual MAC eyeshadow shades. So in the event that you did want to uh, use this yellow, you don't have to buy the palette, just wanted to let you know. So I'm going to dip in this. This is a Sigma Medium Sweeper E54. <sighs> okay. And I'm gonna apply the yellow. Oh, Sam, oh, Sam, on top of the lid. And I'm basically just going to cake that on all over. And then I'm gonna take a MAC 217. I'm gonna dip a little bit into the yellow eyeshadow and I'm just going to really, really softly blend out that crease. I am sunlight. All right, well that's the yellow applied. You know what, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. I never thought I would you know, be into yellow eyeshadow on my eyelids, but here we are. I feel like I'm just gonna leave it like this. I don't wanna do a liner. I do just want this nice, like, smoky moment. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply mascara. This is the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara with the little, the little bendy stick, which has proven to be incredibly helpful with application. I got mascara absolutely all over my lid. <laughs> That's it for the eyes, you guys. I really like it. It's very like, I don't know. It's very subdued, but super fun. I really, really like it. I did not think I would love a yellow eyeshadow this much, but I am quite, I am quite into this little moment here. This is so fun. What a fun way to wear color. <laughs> Coldplay yellow is just booming in my brain right now. And it was all yellow. Okay, so for the lips, I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever 5C Aqua Lip Liner. Never forget. <laughs> and then Hourglass came out with new lip glosses. These ones, look at this PR package. <laughs> they came out with um, 18 new shades of this high shine volumizing lip gloss. It's got hyaluronic acid and some kind of plumping volume thing that they have in here. So I wanted to try one of those out. I already took it out, but I'm going to use the shade Halo. Look at that. These little fun diamond crystals love the packaging. Um, and it's super minty. Oh, and they've got a giant doe for the applicator. Look at that. Mm. And I love that this one just adds such a glorious little shimmer. Oh my God, it does have the tingles. <gasps> it's tingling a little bit. It's not like a painful way. Ooh, ooh, but I love that. <gasps> How pretty. How pretty is that? And I thought this kind of like little bit of shimmer would go really nicely with the yellow, this nice plain lip. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the Farsali Skin Mist again and just spritz that on. A little finishing mist. And that, my good friends and comrades, is the finished look. I just wanted to play with this yellow. It was very inspired by some of the looks I've been seeing. Again, was super inspired by the uh, chrome yellow eyeshadow from this palette. And I just wanted to play and get super ready for the sun to come out and embrace summer. I am 
ready for you. <laughs> so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know if you recreate it. Do tag me, at Alanorama, everywhere on Twitter, Instagram. I would love to see you guys recreate this look. And let me know, are you into this? I feel like this is something that I would actually wear. Like I would actually do this again and wear this. I wouldn't look at this makeup and think that I was like, playing with a rainbow, you know? Like it's still very subtle. I'm a huge fan of it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Everything that I have used on my face here today, everything I'm wearing will be listed in the description box down below. Be sure to check that. Also, give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, and uh, <laughs> smash that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos from me. Lanorama on the daily. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all tomorrow for another Everyday May video. Bye.